Hello everyone and welcome back to Derek's Gaming. It's time for another Kirby's Forgotten Land Guide. Today we are going to show you how to 100% complete the Wastes Where Life Began stage located in the original Wasteland world. Let's take a look at all the missions we need to complete. First we have to clear the stage, then we have to save three hidden waddledees, shoot three flying targets, defeat the lost Squishy, and finally defeat Florina using Ring Mel. None of these missions are really that hard to do, so just follow our guide and you should be able to 100% complete this without any problem at all. We recommend starting the level with Ranger Kirby. You can grab the ability in town before you start the level or get it in the first area here by inhaling a Bernard. Here's where the Bernard is that I just mentioned. Don't kill him if you need the Ranger ability. Okay, to save the first Waddle Dee, we need to collect five green star pieces scattered throughout this area. First piece is inside of a chest behind this snacker. Before we grab the second star piece, let's shoot down the first flying target for the other mission. And then now let's head over to the right where there's a bunch of switches that we have to hit to get the second green star piece. Okay, now let's head back to the left. We'll clear out all of the enemies that are in our way as we go to get the third star piece. Now we're going to enter mouthful mode. We'll need this to get two of the star pieces and we'll also need it to complete another mission. Use the wind blast ability here to blow away the dirt to reveal a chest that has another star piece in it. Let's take a quick detour here to defeat the lost squishy and complete that mission. Okay, and now straight up ahead, you'll see there's a bunch of windmills that we need to activate with the Wind Blast ability. Once we activate all three of them, then we will get another piece of the star. Okay, so we still have one more star piece to collect to get the first hidden Waddle Dee, but we want to remain in mouthful mode because now we need to beat Florina in mouthful mode to complete another mission. Well, you can't climb up the ladder as Ring Mal Kirby, so you have to use the rocks over on the side here to hop up. Okay, this fight is super easy using Ring Mouth mode. Just Wind Blast, Wind Blast, and more Wind Blasts. See, I wasn't kidding, was I? Okay, grab that final star piece and then we'll go rescue the first Waddle Dee. Now before we head out from this area, let's grab the Crystal Needle Blueprint. Okay, now we have to get the other two flying targets, but we need the ranger ability in order to do that. So we're going to head back to the beginning of the level and inhale another Bernard.
Head back towards that area with the switches in it, and you'll see the flying target hovering above on the right. Now let's go find the third and final flying target. Head back to the left, go towards the area that has the windmills in it. You'll see an arrow sign pointing right towards the exit and the target is right above it. Okay, let's take the Warp Star to exit this area of the stage, and then we just have to go find the last two hidden Waddledees. You will notice a lot of tall pillars in this area. As you get close to them, they will start to topple over. You can just move out of the way so they don't crush poor little Kirby. So we're going to need Ringmouth to save the second Waddle Dee, and we can get that right up ahead here. Head back to that cracked area of ground, and over to the right there's a pillar that we're going to blow over with the Wind Blast attack. Also, if you want to grab a capsule, there's one over there on the right, buried in a mound of dirt. Okay, just one objective left. We have to save the third hidden Waddle Dee, and then we are done. Okay, just like last time, we need to knock over the pillar to open up that cracked area of ground, and then we will find our way to the third hidden Waddle Dee. Okay, and this is pretty easy. We're just going to keep hopping to the right, trying to avoid the pillars, but don't worry if they hit you. They really don't do that much damage. And grab another capsule along the way. Now blast away this mound of dirt and you'll find the third Waddle Dee hiding behind it. Okay, we're almost done. We just need to head to the exit. And that's it, we're done. Not too difficult at all if you know where to go. Just follow the guide and you should be able to 100% complete this very easily. Well, that's it for this guide. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and we will see you at the next stage.